Daniel 5, 9. Edayan Malka Belshazzar Sagi Mit Bahal Vazi Vohi Shanayan Alohi Varav Ravanohi Mish Tab Shin. And that brings us to Saluk Sof Pasuk. So back to the beginning. Here we have the adverb meaning then. It has a Telisha Gadola disjunctive accent. So a pause there. Then the king Belshazzar. Coming up to the Pashta accent. Next up, we have an adjective masculine singular, meaning great. And to the Zakef Katon, we have a hit pa'al. It's a participle masculine singular. You see the mit at the front. And it's a hit pa'al. There would have been a doubling of the middle radical. You can't have that. So there's been compensatory lengthening of the patach to the comets. It is, of course, of the Beit He Lamed verbal root. It's talking about being alarmed. So it's not causing alarm, and then there's an object. It's being alarmed, which we get from the hit pa'al functioning as a passive. And his colors changed. Here's a pa'al participle masculine plural. And you may remember that we spent some time on this expression in verse 6. And here's an alternative way of expressing that idea coming up to the Atnach with upon him. His colors changed upon him, like upon his face. And here we have and his nobles or lords. So there's the third masculine singular suffix. And then mish at the beginning. It's actually mit with metathesis of the sheen, bait, sheen, verbal root. It is hit, pa'al, participle, masculine, plural. They were anxious. And this is the only appearance of sheen, bait, sheen. Therefore, we don't have anything to work with other than sheen, bait, sheen. The hit, pa'al seems to be doing something similar to the previous hit, pa'al of acting as a passive. So altogether, then King Belshazzar was alarmed greatly, and his colors changed upon him. His face colors changed, and his nobles or lords were anxious or terrified.